Please be aware that I do not represent any company. I'm not endorsed by or affiliated with any automotive manufacturer or car dealership. All opinions expressed in this video are my own and all trademarks, logos and brand names are the property of their respective owners. So today we're gonna install the new Harrop 2650 upgraded supercharger uh, and uh, see how that goes. Right now the truck has the stock TRD TVS 1900 and it's been doing okay but uh, it's uh, currently maxing out at 14 PSI with a smallest custom pulley that I could build for it. This is only a 1.97 inch pulley and the blower is already over spinning over its rated speed. Uh, but uh, this is what we got in the mail. It's the new Harrop 2650 and uh, we're gonna put it in and see how things go. So uh, I'll uh, go over the steps of uh, removing the supercharger and installing the Harrop unit in here. First of all, unbolt the wipers and take them off the truck. Remove the plastic cowl cover. You gotta pop off these rubber ends here on each side and then uh, lift it off the cowl. Next step is to uh, unplug and unbolt the wiper motor and the transmission assembly. Drain engine coolant, open the radiator cap and then uh, drain enough coolant so that uh, you can disconnect the water bypass uh, manifold without leaking a bunch all over the place. Just a bunch of little 10 mil bolts and then it pops out of there. Disconnect the intercooler hoses from the top of the supercharger. Unclip and remove the air box with the connector and the intake pipe. Mine's got nitrous in it, yours might not, but it doesn't change the sequence. Disconnect and remove the throttle body. Remove the throttle body coolant line and then uh, take the belt of the supercharger. Unbolt uh, both side injector rails uh, because the supercharger won't come out with them in place. You have to at the very least unbolt them and move them out of the way or remove them out completely. So disconnect the fuel lines and uh, two bolts. Be careful there are plastic spacers under these bolts and the one on this side in the back there it's first of all it's hard to get to but it always falls out and then it's a pain in the butt to look for it so that's our next step here. Once the fuel rails are out, undo the 10 uh, bolts and nuts holding the supercharger to the heads. Uh, the two inner ones are a real pain, so you have to use like an offset wrench and or swivel to try to get in there. The three on the outside are pretty easy. Now, once all the supercharger bolts are removed, just strap a chain across it and uh, hook it up to a crane so you can pull it out of the truck. And that is how you remove the TRD or Magnuson blower out of a Tundra. So now that the blower is out, uh, we need to swap this uh, coolant crossover manifold to the one supplied with a Harrop kit and it's uh, piped a little bit different. So first we gotta take this guy out. Uh, to get the crossover manifold, first you have to take the uh, supercharger idler pulley off and then the bracket with the three bolts because otherwise you can't access the one of the bolts holding the back of it. Once the crossover manifolds out you can unscrew the coolant sensor and take the gasket off and then you swap it into the hole here on the Harrop uh, coolant manifold. Next we're installing the Harrop uh, Pull and crossover manifold with uh, new gaskets and four nuts. Once the coolant crossover is installed, this idler supercharger bracket has to be bolted uh, down with uh, three supplied bolts. Yeah, now it's in, it's out of the way. Yeah, so uh, this hose here, this one, has to be uh, extended because the factory one doesn't fit and it's routed a little bit differently above the idler bracket. 
and then the hose that connects right here and goes down there uh, it also needs to be custom uh, set up but this one at the top this guy it's uh, still a factory one so this one needs to be custom made this one needs to be custom made but this one is reused well all the hoses are connected front back top except for the throttle body cooling hoses one's there and one's there and then the hair up is getting raised ready to go into the truck the nice thing about this the bolts that hold it are coming straight from the top so you don't have to muck around with the the hidden bolts on the TRD blower, which are a real pain to uh, tighten. So the beast is in, and uh, now we're just making sure we can set up uh, the PCV hose. It goes on the bottom right there. It's gonna fit your. And then we have two here that go to the brake booster and uh, evap vent. Don't even joke about that. Well, the blower is in, all the bolts are tightened. They're a little tight fit, but uh, they got in there. The throttle body has to be turned to make it work because the <laughs> bolts are aligned in a different way. And uh, now we're gonna put the injector rails and injectors back in, and uh, we're gonna switch this pulley to a different one as well. Well, we uh, <clears throat> struggled a little bit because this pipe here doesn't fit really properly how it's supposed to and I thought the kit's supposed to come with a different adapter so uh, I'm gonna contact her up uh, tomorrow and we'll talk about it and also there's supposed to be two of these Y fittings for the intercooler cooling but they only supplied me with one in the kit so I had to go run down to the Home Depot and we had to rig something up here to make it work so uh, slowly everything's coming back together. I have this hose running over because I don't have enough hose to properly route it. So that's going to be fixed later. It's not going to be as messy, but uh, we're getting we're getting close on the setup. Just got to throw the cowl in, wipers, uh, belt, and uh, bleed the coolant, and then we'll be ready to go. We're just going to start off with uh, the 85 millimeter that it comes with. Well, it took about six hours, but uh, I think she's ready. guys that was Victor G with my uh, quest for a 1000 horsepower Tundra uh, it's uh, time to take her for a test drive it's got an 85 mil pulley it's got a overdrive crank pulley so it's not gonna make a lot of boost but uh, we'll see how she goes and uh, I'll see you soon with some more updates cheers <laughs>